EU's member states all have armed forces to protect against attacks from the air, from the sea and on land. But many experts think the EU is unprepared for attacks from what is likely to be the next major theatre of war, cyberspace. Future conflicts could well revolve around states and terrorist groups launching cyber attacks to knock out vital infrastructure and paralyse critical computer networks. It's something that the EU institutions should know about because they were targeted by a cyber attack earlier this year. It brought home to MEPs just how dependent we are on the internet and how exposed the EU is to cyber warfare and cyber crime, which affects millions of European citizens and companies every year. Monica Holmer, a German MEP from our group, is Parliament's rapporteur on a draft directive proposed by the European Commission to boost the EU's cyber defences. In her view, we all have a responsibility to realise the downsides of the digital age. The most important thing for me is that the young population, the whole population, has to know that the internet is a great thing and uh, is one of the best technologies that we could have uh, with the new possibilities like cloud computing and so on. It's really great. But there are a lot of dangers and everybody has to know something about security. Everybody has to be aware that, that there could be a problem. This week, the Parliament's Justice, Home Affairs and Civil Liberties Committee has held a hearing to cover the various aspects of the threat from cyberspace. In particular, the problem of economic espionage has come under scrutiny. Recently, companies including Google, Sony, Citigroup Bank and the US defence contractor Lockheed Martin have come under cyber attack. The stealing of trade secrets and the disruption of economic activity through cyber attacks could have a serious effect on Europe's economic competitiveness, which is why the EU should be working more closely with the private sector to thwart this danger. It's very important to have the private sector on board because um, the most experiences uh, about cyber attacks are, for example, in the bank field because online banking is a very interesting field uh, for hacker and um, for example in the economy you have a lot of very interesting technologies um, that other companies would like to know so um, uh, private companies are very good advisors online banking has transformed the banking industry but concerns remain about the ability of criminals to use cyber weapons to steal information that allows them access to customers accounts one of the participants in this hearing was Waldemar Grudzian from the Association of German Banks who believes the EU has a key role in public information and awareness it's this initiative here the cybercrime initiative is only I would say a starting point and we have to strengthen the uh, cooperation, cooperation not only the police forces but also the, the law enforcement and the education of the customers, the education of the European citizens because normal customers, uh, the normal customer is still not aware of the real threats. War is thankfully something that a majority of Europeans have never experienced. But cyber warfare is likely to proliferate in the coming decades and the message from this hearing is that the EU needs to take that threat as seriously as conventional warfare. For more information on our group's activities, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.